In this video, we will talk about 12 common mistakes students make when working with exponents. In the first example, we will have 4 to the second power, and the first mistake is to multiply 4 by the exponent. The result would be 8, and that would be incorrect. Instead, if we have 4 to the second power, the exponent tells us how many times we will multiply 4. And because in this example the exponent is 2, then we will have 4 times 4, which makes 16. In the next example, we will raise negative 5 to the second power. Then, if we write that the result is 25, that would be incorrect. And that is because here we are not multiplying negative 5 by negative 5. Instead, when we have negative 5 to the second power, then this negative is in front of 5 to the second power. Then we carry the negative to the answer, and 5 to the second power is 5 times 5. Then the result will be negative 25. But if we have negative 5 in parentheses and we raise it to the second power, then we will have negative 5 multiplied by another negative 5, and that would result in positive 25. So again, if we don't have parentheses, then this negative is in front of 5 squared. Then we bring this negative to the answer, and 5 squared is 25. But if we have parentheses around negative 5, this means that we are multiplying negative 5 by another negative 5. And negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. In the next example, we have negative, parenthesis, negative 6 to the second power. If we think that these two negatives make a positive, and we write this as 6 to the second power, which is 36, that would be a mistake. Instead, when we have negative, parenthesis, negative 6 to the second power, then by the order of operations, we have to perform the exponent first. So we will bring this negative to the answer, then negative 6 to the second power is negative 6 times another negative 6. From here, negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36, and with the negative in front will give us negative 36. So again, because in this example, this negative has to be raised to the second power, we can't say that these two negatives make a positive. In the next example, we will have 2 times 5 to the second power. If we multiply 2 times 5 and get 10, and we raise 10 to the second power and we get 100, that will be wrong. Instead, when we have 2 times 5 to the second power, then we have two operations to perform. One is multiplication, and the other one is exponent. Then, according to the order of operations, we have to perform the exponent first. So we will write 2 times, and then 5 to the second power is 25. Then 2 times 25 will be 50. So when we have multiple operations, we have to make sure that we follow the order of operations. In the next example, we will have 3 plus 4 all to the second power. If we write this as 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is 9 plus 16 or 25, then this would be incorrect. Instead, when we have 3 plus 4 to the second power, then first we can perform the addition that is inside the parentheses. 3 plus 4 is 7, and 7 to the second power is 49. Now, what if in parentheses we would have x plus 5 to the second power? If we write that this is x squared plus 25, then this would be incorrect. To raise x plus 5 to the second power, one method would be to rewrite this as x plus 5 times another x plus 5, and then use FOIL. Then x times x is x squared, x times 5 is 5x, 5 times x is 
5x and 5 times 5 is 25. In the middle we have two like terms and 5x plus 5x will give us 10x. Then the result will be x squared plus 10x plus 25. Another method would be to use the formula for the square of a binomial. That is a plus b to the second power equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So if we have x plus 5 to the second power, then according to this formula we have to take the first term and raise it to the second power. Then in our example that will be x squared. The next term is 2 times a times b. That is 2 times the first term times the second term. If we multiply 2 by x and by 5 we will get 10x. So let's write plus 10x. Then the last term is b to the second power. In our example that is 5 to the second power which is 25. So then we will write plus 25. And again the result is x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now let's see the next common mistake. Here we will multiply x to the fourth power by x to the second power. Then if we multiply the exponents 4 and 2 and get x to the power of 8, that would be incorrect. Instead, when we multiply two expressions that have the same base, then we need to add the exponents. Then the correct answer would be x to the power of 6. And that is because x to the power of 4 represents a product of 4 x's and x to the power of 2 represents a product of 2 x's. Then this product of 6 x's we can write as x to the power of 6. In the next example we will raise 5 to the power of 0. If we write that this equals 0 that would be incorrect. Instead 5 to the power of 0 equals 1. To understand this let's say that in place of this 0 we can write 3 minus 3. So now in place of 5 to the power of 0 we will write 5 to the power of 3 minus 3. Now here we have the quotient rule where we can write a to the power of m minus n as a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. According to this rule we can write 5 to the power of 3 minus 3 as 5 to the power of 3 over 5 to the power of 3. And now because these two expressions are exactly the same, when we divide them we will get 1. So then 5 to the power of 0 is indeed 1. In general any non-zero number raised to 0 will be equal to 1. The only number we cannot raise to 0 will be 0. 0 to the power of 0 is undefined. In the next example we will have x to the power of 15 divided by x to the power of 5. If we divide these exponents and we write the answer as x to the third power then that would be incorrect. Instead according to this quotient rule that we have to the left when we divide two expressions that have the same base we just need to subtract the exponents. Then x to the 15th power divided by x to the 5th power will be equal to x to the 10th power. In the next example we will divide x to the 7th power by x to negative 4. If we think that this is x to the power of 7 minus 4 which makes x to the 3rd power then this would be incorrect. Instead x to the seventh power divided by x to negative 4 equals x to the power of 7 minus negative 4. So we are applying the quotient rule and we are subtracting the exponents 
And because one exponent is 7 and the other one is negative 4, then we write this as 7 minus negative 4. If this would be a positive 4, then we would have 7 minus 4. Now 7 minus negative 4 is 11, so the result will be x to the 11th power. In the next example, we will have 4 to the power of negative 2. If we write that the result is negative 16, then that would be incorrect. Instead, when we have a number raised to a negative exponent, we have to bring that number down to the denominator and the exponent will become positive. Then the result will be 1 over 16. So a negative exponent does not make the result negative. To understand this, let's have the following example. 4 to the third power divided by 4 to the fifth power. According to the quotient rule, when we divide two expressions that have the same base, we keep the base and we subtract the exponents. Then according to this rule, we will have 4 to the power of 3 minus 5, which equals to 4 to negative 2. On the other hand, 4 to the third power over 4 to the fifth power equals 4 times 4 times 4 over 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 and times 4. Now to simplify this fraction, we will cross 3 fourths from the top and 3 of them from the bottom. Then we will be left with 1 over 4 times 4, which makes 1 over 16. So indeed, 4 to negative 2 is the same as 1 over 16. Now on number 11, we will have x to the 8th power, all raised to the 2nd power. If we add these exponents and we get x to the 10th power, that would be incorrect. Also, if we take x to the 8th power that is raised to the 2nd power and we raise 8 to the 2nd power and get 64, that would also be incorrect. Instead, when we raise x to the 8th power to the 2nd power, we need to multiply these exponents and get x to the 16th power. And that is because when we raise something to the second power, it means that we multiply it twice. So we will have x to the eighth power multiplied by x to the eighth power. And now according to the product rule, we add these exponents and get the exponent 16. And now let's see the last common mistake. Here we will have 7x to negative 5. When we simplify expressions that have exponents, then the result has to have only positive exponents. So to make this exponent positive, we have to move x down to the denominator. Then if we write this as 1 over 7x to positive 5, that would be incorrect. Instead, if we have 7x to negative 5, here we have a product of 7, and x to negative 5, and out of these two factors, only x has a negative exponent. In fact, the exponent of 7 is just positive 1. Therefore, we keep 7 in the numerator and we move down only x. So the correct answer is 7 over x to positive 5. So now here we have all 12 common mistakes students make when working with exponents. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you for watching.